All right, what's up? I'm Charm City 187, and it is time for mine and my brother's week six picks. Uh, last week I did pretty good. I got three wrong. Uh, the only games I got wrong were Green Bay at Indy, and I said Indy had a good chance of winning if they came out and played for Pagano. Uh, Seattle at Carolina. I don't know why. Every time I pick Carolina, yo, they lose. So I'm about to stop picking them. And who else? Denver at New England. And yeah, those are the three I got wrong. But yeah, all right, on to week six. Uh, Thursday night game, October 11th, you got Pittsburgh at Tennessee. Um, me and my brother are both taking Pittsburgh, but I think Tennessee might come out and give them a run for their money because they're, they've are they been getting clowned on. Like, the whole league is straight clowning them. And they showed them practicing yesterday, and they looked like they were pissed off in practice. So, it might be a good game. Uh, Sunday, October 14th, 1 o'clock games. First game you got is Oakland at Atlanta. We're both taking Atlanta. Oakland is shit. They suck. There ain't nothing else to say about it. Carson Palmer's old and worn out. Uh, Cincinnati at Cleveland. We're both going to take Cincinnati, but I like Cleveland. I really do. They're young. They got a lot of talent. Um, shit, they probably would have beat us. Well, they would have probably beat the Ravens and the Eagles if that fucker Greg Little could catch a pass, but he he drops everything thrown to him. So they got a couple young people making mistakes, which is costing them the game, basically. Um, since St. Louis at Miami, my brother's going to take St. Louis. I like Miami. Um, I know uh, St. Louis's edge rushers are fucking cock diesel, but their offense is mediocre at best, and the way you beat good edge rushers is run the ball up the middle. And if they just pound the ball up the middle with Reggie Bush and whoever else the backup running back is, they'll have a good chance of winning. So, I'm going to take Miami. In the Indianapolis at the Jets. My brother's going to take the Jets. I'm going to take Indy. The Jets are a fucking joke. The, 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 the three worst teams in the NFL, the Jets, the fucking Redskins, and the Cowboys. They're like the laughing stock of the NFL. So I'm going to take Indy on that one. And if San and if uh, Tebow starts for the Jets, it's not going to matter because he can't throw the ball to anybody. None of their receivers are any good. Uh, Terrell Owens wants to go to the Jets, but they just showed on NFL AM that the Jets ruled it out saying they're not going to pick him up. So I went... Terrell Owens is not going to the Jets. Uh, you got Detroit at Philly. My brother's going to take Philly 27-23. I'm going to take Philly 17-14. I don't think it's going to be a too high-scoring game because well, Vic is a turnover machine. And I would, I would pick Detroit, but they're just too ignorant. Their whole franchise is ignorant from the players all the way up to the coaches. I see multiple 15-yard penalties during the game, and that's what kills them. I think last year they started like 5-0 and or 6-0 and or some, something. I don't know. I know they had a lot of wins and didn't lose, and then once they lost, they lost like six or seven games. But, yeah, their whole franchise is fucking ignorant. That's why I'm going to go with Philly as much as I hate to say it. But, but and again, every time I pick Philly, picked Philly this year, they've lost. So... I might just pick them just so they lose. Fuck it. All right. Dallas at Baltimore. My brother's going to take Baltimore 24-17. I'm going to take Baltimore 44-17. I think Romo's going to throw multiple interceptions. And last week against the Chiefs, our offense, well, Flacco, he didn't have too bad of a day, but the receivers couldn't catch the ball. I think, like, the first half there was eight dropped passes. And all of them were like 15, 20-yard passes and just 
dropped going right through their hands and shit. So last week that wasn't too much his fault. I think Ray Rice got a hundred yards rushing on like ten or eleven carries. Like, and that's why I can't stand Cam Karen. Like, he's a fucking idiot. He sees that we're having trouble passing the ball, but yet our running back's running for 100 yards on 10 carries, and yet he's still not handing in the ball. Shit, Ray Rice could have probably ran for 300 yards and like four or five touchdowns that game. He was just running all over him. You got Kansas City at Tampa Bay. Um, We're both going to take Kansas City. Their defense is solid, and Jamal Charles is good, but like you saw last week against us, he ran for like 100-plus in the first half, and then the second half didn't do anything. And with a speed guy like that, you got to hit him, and you got to pile up on him, get all that weight on him until he doesn't want to run the ball anymore. Matt Castle was getting uh, applauded when he was knocked out cold on the ground. You know, that was fucking hilarious. You know your franchise hates you when they're fucking clapping when you're laying on the ground knocked cold. But yeah, they have a lot of young talent. And I'm sure it's going to be a close game, but I don't see Kansas City losing to Tampa Bay again. Well, Kansas City losing again, that'll be three straight. All right, you got your four oh five games. You got Buffalo at Arizona. My brother's going to take Arizona. I'm going to take Buffalo. I told you all, Kevin Cobb is a fucking joke. Once he starts choking, he keeps choking. New England at Seattle. My brother's going to take New England. I'm going to take Seattle. Yo, they got the best defense in the NFL. Can't, can't. I think they have, like, the number one rushing defense, and that's what... Uh, the Patriots have been doing is running the ball, spreading them out, and just doing draws up the middle. That's why that's why we had such a problem with them because we were playing the pass the whole time and they just kept hand, handing the ball off and just getting four or five yard chunk plays, just doing it over and over and over and over, just spreading the defense out. And then if you tried to stack the box, they when it was spread it out, spread out, they could just throw quick screen pass, and they'd get five or six yards of that way. Uh, 425, you got Giants at San Francisco. We're both going to take San Francisco. Rematch of the NFC Championship game. San Francisco lost because their punt returner fumbled two punts and won at the very end of the game or in overtime, I don't remember. And then second 425 game is Minnesota at Washington. We're both going to take Minnesota. I told you all, Minnesota ain't no fucking joke. They're Christian Ponders managing the game great, not turning the ball over. Peterson's running the shit out of the ball. And that's all his Ponder has to do is not turn the ball over, and he gives him, he gives his team a chance to win the game. And plus, Redskins are a fucking joke. One one of the three worst teams in the NFL. Then you got your uh, Sunday night game. You got Green Bay at Houston. My brother's going to take Houston 27-21. I started off picking Green Bay, but then uh, I remembered that Cedric Benson's done for the year. So they have no running game. No pass blocking. And their defense is average at best. So, I switched mine to Houston. I'm going to say 38 to 24. And you got your Monday night game, October 15th. You got Denver at San Diego. My brother's going to take San Diego. I'm going to take Denver this time. I just... I don't like anything I see from the Chargers whenever they play. I see nothing that I like so that's why I'm going to go with Denver on that one but I'm basically have no idea what's going to happen that game and then you got your buys uh, Chicago Bears, New Orleans Saints, Carolina Panthers and Jacksonville Jaguars all have buys and you have to throw Jacksonville in, in there with one of the four worst teams in the NFL but alright I'm out peace